There you are. You boys ready? Of course. What else do you know about this guy? Not much. Just see some slick little greasy-haired European clearly got power and money. Now, listen. If we go in there and start shooting up the place, boy's gonna get shot, that I guarantee. Better like this, you're gonna have a lot of protection. Ain't no one gonna get shot, Arthur, so everyone just relax. We'll charm them. Trust me. This the place? <coughs> Must be. You okay, John? I guess. Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? You get your boss down here and now so we can talk about this like gentlemen. Run along now, boy. Was that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. You looking for a problem? I got this. Don't worry, boys. We come in peace. We just need to straighten a couple of things out with your boss. Sono sti buffoni. Sono qui per picciotto. Coi soldi? Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So, you walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Indeed you have. Now, we are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers. It ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business. We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we, we most surely were ignorant of. You twist words, you lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. Diodoro. <laughs> that is a very stiff woman. <laughs> Angelo Bronte. <laughs> Dutch Vanderland. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Arthur, uh, the pleasure is mine. John Marston. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 uh. So, uh... Can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> but uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? Oh, of course I know you would not want that, huh? No. No, no, no. So how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in the cemetery. Oh, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they're on a mile. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Lind, huh? you tell me more about my manners. <laughs> Salute. <laughs> Salute. Grave.
grave robbers? You think he's taking us for a fool? No idea. What choice do we have? None, I guess. This is idiotic. You know where the cemetery is? I think so. Pretty sure I rode by it earlier. It's real impressive. You know, you did good holding your tongue in there. Do you trust one word that comes out of that bastard's mouth? We don't even know where Jack is. Listen, we found Bronte. We got in there. Dutch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. That poor kid. I ain't been a good father to him. I hope... <sighs> He's okay. He'll be fine. I figure... The Braithwaites were gonna hold Jack Branson. For all the money we cost him. They must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. But... Bronte knows by now there's no Braithwaites left to pay him. Jack ain't much used to him anymore. Let's just get this done, and let Dutch handle the rest. I just hope you're right. Okay, I think this is it. Keep it down. Let's hitch the horses up ahead. This way. Let's keep looking. Get out of here, mister. It ain't safe. I'm gonna check over here. Watch it! Damn it! 
Back to Bronte empty handed. Let's have a look where they first shot at us from. <sighs> Robbing grave robbers. We've hit the big time. Like I said, let's look around where they jumped us. Something in here. Got it. Good. Now let's get out of here. Damn, we're lost here. Come on, let's see if that gate's open. It's locked. We'll have to go back the way we came. Damn it. Let's go around the side.
Get this done. Well, you took your time. Jack. Where's your host? Ah. Like I said, you took <laughs> your time. Ah. I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. What a fine man. Hey, friend. Uh, thank Mr. Looking. Bronte you all for right? everything. You know, Arthur, Mr. Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. <laughs> and us, just simple country boys. There. Let's go! We have a new camp set up, Jack. You're gonna love it. Idiom. All right! Let's get this boy back to his mother. You sure you're okay, son? I'm fine. Papa Bronte said you'd come for me. I'm... I'm sorry. What for? For that. For taking so long. I had a fun time. I had my own room with a big bed and a toy box. And lots of books. Did they do anything to you? Have you ever had spaghetti? What? What's that? It's food. It looks like worms, but it's delicious. Is that right? Papa Bronte teaches me lots of Italian words. D 
Don't call him that, please. You know, caballo? That means horse. And pantafola? That's a slipper. A slipper? They gave me two pairs. One for day and one for night. Well, I'm just glad you're all right. Oh, yes. I had the best time. But I can't wait to see Mama. Did she miss me? She sure did. Like you wouldn't know. Real good to see you, Jack. You too, Uncle Arthur. Did you catch the bad guys? Which ones? At the graveyard. Uncle Dutch and Papa Bronte told me. Just Mr. Bronte. Yeah. Me and your pa deal with him. I told him you would. Wait till you see this new camp. Not another one. Well, this one's got a house. Not as nice as Mr. Bronte's, mind you. That's okay. We'll get you settled and cleaned up in no time. Oh, I had a bath last night. <sighs> of course you did. Son, everything. We got him! Mama! He's fine! I'm fine, Mama. They fed me good. <laughs> Italian food. Did you ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Dutch, Arthur, thank you. Thank you. I got my son back! Jack, Jack, Jack. How are you, boy? I'm fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. Abigail? Can I go play now? Ah, so. Well, we met Mr. Bronte. Hmm. He is uh, quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? <laughs> Not outside of a circus. Well, let me tell you all about him. John, you will be with your family. Arthur, thank you. Boys! We got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> we got Jack back! <laughs> well, the boy's safe, thank goodness. Everyone thank you, Arthur. I... <clears throat> I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family. Suspiciously, as usual. I, I'm just trying to give you all your moment. Well, how very kind. Es el lunar que tiene cielito lindo junto a la boca. No se lo des a nadie, cielito lindo que a mí me toca. Es el lunar que tiene cielito lindo junto a la boca. No se lo des a nadie, cielito lindo que a mí me toca. Ay, 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 ay. No se alegra el cielito lindo los corazones. Ay, 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 ay. Canta y no llores, ¿por 
que cantando se alegra el cielito lindo los corazones. <risa> Let's give this boy a bit of space. See you later. Good to have you back, Jackie. We missed you. Welcome back, Jack. Thanks. Lágrimas vine llorando. Welcome back, Jackie. Well, I'll let you find folks get with My dear Arthur, I hope this letter finds you well. I wanted to thank you for your help with Jamie. He and Daddy are still arguing, but I understand that Jamie is thinking about going back to college. Whatever happens, I believe you saved his life and we are all truly grateful. Oh, Arthur, I have made such a mess of my life time and again. Why can I not change and be the woman I want to be? Why couldn't you change and be a man and put down all those fantasies that shroud your judgment? Life is very confusing, and I see now that I'm not very good at it. I'm afraid we've got ourselves into another mess. It's not my fault, but I need your help. I'm staying at the Hotel Grand in Saint Denis. Oh, Arthur. I know it is wrong to ask you, but I have nobody else, and for what we once had together, I beg of you, even though I am ashamed to do so, yours, Mary.
Hello, mister. Hello. I thought I recognized you. Hello again. <gasps> oh, my. You How's your look? are a bad person. Thank you. Really. Hey, mister. Hello there, mister. How do you do, sir? You're leaving me, huh? Sure. Yeah, we'll leave this then. Is Mr. Black's fault? His fault, the darky white. Although I don't know why they call him that. Look at him. Don't you start now. I'll knock the color clean off you. Come All on. Right. And I'll tell right. you, you lily livid. Enough. Huh. You two fools look like you've just run off a chain gang. Yeah, what of it? What are you doing? Starving. They got bounty posters for us all over town. And we can't go into town to get supplies. Say, mister, maybe you can do us fools a favor. We ain't bad guys at all. He's okay. You and for a darkie. Shut it, you pasty face streak of piss. Yeah, I had up to here with you. Enough. Do your goddamn favor what you want. Maybe you can go into town and take down them wanted posters of us. <sighs> okay. Maybe meet us back at the campfire in the woods and tell us how you did. Uh, maybe bring us a little bite to eat. Don't push your luck. Nice fella. Yeah, you love nice fellas. Don't you start up again. Just shut up. You shut up! to get to that poster behind you. Would you move a little? <laughs> I will not. Deputy put up plenty. Go get one of those. Hey, move. I need that poster. Oh, I'll move, <laughs> all right. <laughs> 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 were trumped up. But the darky killed the white man. Jimmy Holdaker had a weak heart. He died of a heart attack. Nonsense. And Samson Black was set up. Everyone knows Judge Amory took a bribe. <laughs> Mr. Black, Mr. White. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Mister, I need that poster. There's been a recall. I weren't born yesterday. This one's mine, so you can go and get your own. Was I not sufficiently clear with you, mister?
goes there? It's me, Arthur. Welcome back. Get to! 